scriptures we're using for today's reflection are all from the Passion Translation. The first one is from Revelation 19 verse 16. The second, Philippians 2 verses 6 to 11. And the last one is Psalm 72 verse 11. On his robe and on his thigh he had inscribed a name, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He existed in the form of God, yet he gave no thought to seizing equality with God as his supreme prize. Instead, he emptied himself of his outward glory by reducing himself to the form of a lowly servant, he became human. He humbled himself and became vulnerable, choosing to be revealed as a man and was obedient. Because of that obedience, God exalted him and multiplied his greatness he has now been given the greatest of all names. The authority of the name of Jesus causes every knee to bow in reverence. Everything and everyone will one day submit to his name in the heavenly realm, in the earthly realm and in the demonic realm. And every tongue will proclaim in every language Jesus Christ is Lord Yahweh, bringing glory and honour to God his Father. O King of Kings, they will all bow before you. O King of Kings, every nation will one day serve you. Let's pause for a moment and reflect on what we have seen and heard. I wonder, what does it mean for you to know that Jesus is the King of Kings? I wonder, what are you going to come and lay down at his feet today? Dear Jesus, thank you that you gave up the majesty of heaven and came down to earth to be born as a baby and become vulnerable for us and to come and live alongside us and show us your Father in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, that you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We worship you. We love you and thank you. Amen.